Rahman Rahim. In uh, this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use uh, Code MV. Uh, it's a cloud IDE, so you can use it on any browser on any platform. Um, in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to make Spring Boot project on um, Code MV and uh, deploy it. Uh, so uh, let's here go for import project and import from URL. Let's name our project as Spring Boot, and here let's put our URL and make import. Okay. Now we have work space with our project, which is uh, getting from Spring initializer. If we open our this workspace, you can see here it's going to uh, show you uh, the IDE. And uh, as I told you, it's very uh, useful as uh, you can open it on uh, from any place on any PC, uh, on tablet, or whatever. <coughs> can see here it's uh, somehow like uh, Eclipse but not have all features uh, as Eclipse let's open the Spring application okay here uh, let's add our controller here to test this project uh, so let's get this one. Okay. So here we have to fix ports. So let's fix this one okay and save our file then we are going to uh, running our project uh, we can uh, create our environment to run this project I will make a new environment called spring boot Render. Okay, it's giving you a Docker file. You can customize this Docker file as you wish to create your environment, your custom environment. I already did this before, so let's take. Sorry, let's take this Docker file. And this is here. Save this file. Okay. Uh, now let's go for running our project. Custom run and select our Spring Boot Runner and make run. Initially, it's uh, building your uh, doc, uh, Docker instance uh, from um, Code Envy uh, GDK uh, 7 image and run all instructions you put it in uh, this Docker file. After that, the, it's going now to run Spring Boot uh, project here and give you a URL here can see that uh, it's our project is hosted on cloud and let's add some then pass them here you can see that our application is running probably uh, and you have uh, a cloud environment you can use uh, to test your project and share the application with your uh, colleagues or uh, your teammates to uh,
test your application and give you feedback also here you can see that you can share your project and using git you can uh, commit your project or import your project here uh, as uh, I showed you in the beginning of uh, this video uh, actually it's very nice tool and very useful tool uh, you can register and get it free now uh, but you will got uh, 512 RAM it's enough for running your Spring Boot project like this uh, so I hope this video is uh, very useful for you please send me your feedback I will put all uh, URLs uh, needed uh, in the comment of this video and thank you hope to meet you uh, in another video soon inshallah salam